2D sketch geometry describes this cross-sectional shape used to create a base solid body or a feature on an existing solid body. In SolidX, you can draw sketches on either a planar face or a reference plane. Take these reference planes as piece of papers that you can sketch on. There are many sketch drawing commands available in SolidX, including line, arc, circles, and rectangles. The sketching flow in SolidX is as follows. On the sketching tab draw group, choose a sketching command. Start drawing or lock to a sketch plane using f on your keyboard. You can draw a sketch in the active view orientation or rotate the view normal to the sketch plane by pressing Ctrl and H. Draw a sketch geometry using one or more combination of drawing commands. In this case, we will create two circles and connect them with some lines. Please notice that SolidEdge recognizes that we want our line to be tangent to the circles. This is what we call Interlist Sketch in SolidEdge. Interlist Sketch is a dynamic drawing tool used for sketching and modifying elements. For instance, Interlist Sketch allows you to sketch a line that is horizontal or vertical or a line that is parallel or perpendicular to another line or tangent to a circle. You can set the types of relationship you want Interlist Sketch to recognize from Interlist Sketch sections in the Sketching tab. Now that our lines and circles are connected, let's use the 2D relate commands to make the two circles equal in size. These 2D geometric relationship commands can be found in the sketching tab and can perform various tasks such as making two elements in a sketch perpendicular, parallel, or even make them symmetrical. Now that our sketch looks good, we can use the smart dimension tool to dimension the sketch. We can find this tool in Sketching or Home tab. Let's add some dimension for the distance between the circles and coordinate system to make the sketch symmetric. Please notice we could achieve the same result using the symmetric geometric relationship as well. You also have access to other dimensioning commands such as angle in between or coordinate dimension command. Finally, you can make this dimension driving by clicking on the like icon. At last, let's trim this sketch. You have commands such as trim or move available for manipulating your sketch. Finally, sketches need to form a closed region to create a 3D feature. In today's lesson, you learn about topics for sketching in SolidEdge, including how to lock to a plane, different drawing and sketching manipulation commands, IntelliSketch, 2D geometric relationship and dimensioning tools.